Guys, I was gonna jump on one more time because I meant to, I meant to show Katrina how to, and I hope this helps the rest of you as well, how to um, cut a rake brush. Let me make sure I'm in the site. Um, I'm not seeing it. Hold on one second before I start. I just wanna make sure this is in our group. And so you're seeing it, there we go, okay. Okay, so what I do is you gotta get a you have to have a nice pair of scissors. I'm not sure if I have a nice pair right here. This is a flat brush, okay? And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the end and I'm gonna and make sure that like if it's not flat that you boil it and get it flat. So what you can do to make things um, make your bristles straight again, like this has a little frayed area, is to boil uh, water, put it down. Someone else must be pulling it, put it down. <laughs> Boil water and put it in the boiling water for 60 seconds, pull it back up and then dry them off, flatten them out, lay them flat to dry and then they'll be flat again. So you can even get some of your most beat up brushes. We just pulled a ton from the studio we're gonna get a, do that with. So what I do guys is I cut this at an angle. I guess I don't have the best scissors right here. I cut it at an angle and I want that like, let's see if you can see that up close. I'm holding that and so I cut it at an angle so it's like all jagged. I'm trying to look at the camera to see if you guys can see that well. See, the edge I kind of cut off because I don't want that like little jagged part. I'm shaky at the end of the day after I paint all day. So I'm just going to cut up in it just like this. So it's just like I cut it at an angle until I get it. You know, you need that jagged look right, right on the ends like that. So I'll actually go into a little bit more. I do it until it's like at my liking. Um, that's about, that's pretty close. I'm gonna show you my other rake brushes that come pre-cut, but I have cut them before. Like we run low in the studio, somehow we don't have enough. Like we've definitely cut brushes. I go in about that far. Can you see that? I don't know what, <laughs> when it zoomed in, I'm not sure where my hand is supposed to be. There we go, over here, there we go. Sorry about that. Do you see that? Maybe it'll look better on the black camera. You see how it's like ragged now at the end? And so let me grab my actual rake brushes that come. Cut, one second. So here's a brand new one that's small. This is a quarter of an inch right here. This is closer to a, it's not quite a half an inch brush, okay? So you can cut that in a little bit more, but I'm pretty close. I might cut it up just a little bit further on this side. Yeah, this side's down in a little bit more. I think I'd cut that a little bit more. And then, it's, it's better to have a little bit softer brush, guys, than a harsh brush. I just pulled this because it was like a brush that was a little bit old and frayed. I was looking for one of my big ones. Might be drawing by the sink. My giant ones, here it is. Katrina, sorry about that. I was like startled by the dogs. Here's this one here, if you can see that. And so I like those like little hairs like sticking up a little further there. So I would actually cut this a little bit more. Like I said, these ones are brand new. I just ordered like another 40 or so of these for the studio. We find that our painters like to use these quarter of an inch ones. I really like to use the half an inch ones. Like this one's a half an inch, okay? And then I'll show you the mark with all of them. This isn't such a soft brush, to, brush though. That's a stiff brush right here. But I'm gonna cut this a little bit more. And really you have to try it and see if you like, you know, the mark that it's gonna make. Um, so like you would pull out your white and see if you like the mark. So this isn't very soft at all, but you would see, make sure that you can make that, that mark, okay? Like say you're making the beard and you wanna make sure that, still, I kinda of like this step. I can press on a little bit more, huh? Might've been a happy accident, Katrina. 
So you want to see the type of mark that it makes that you still get like those separated bristles. I don't know. I might have to cut more stiff brushes. I really like it. Ah. So it makes a, it makes a nice mark. And where these ones are a little bit softer. So again, you want to water it down. This is a plate that already had some heart paint on it. And so like this here. So it is very similar. So make sure that you can, you know, just test it out and see if you need to cut it up a little bit more, okay? And then we have, so these smaller ones, you just have to make more of your mark. Let me see if I'm going off the canvas. Let me go up a little higher with this so you can see that. But these ones, you have to put in a little bit more work. Remember how I always say I like the biggest brush that I can use for the job because it's the least strokes that I have to make. So this just takes more strokes, but our painters tend to like these small ones. So like I said, they have a variety to choose from in there. But I hope this helped you. Hi, Connie. How are you? I missed you on the last one. I jumped right back on really quick because I was going to do this for Katrina the dog parked at the end and I totally forgot. So um, I hope you're doing well, Connie. I hope you're having a great night. I hope the family's doing good. And um, let me know if you need anything at all. And um, Katrina, I hope this helps you. I hope it helps everybody else um, to cut your own rake brush, okay? So have a great night again. I won't bother again tonight. And then um, I'll probably pop on tomorrow while I'm painting all day, okay? And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great night. Bye, Connie.